Good morning. I'm going to do a review of the Atlas Coffee Club. I'm a little bit of a coffee snob and uh, I thought I might want to give this a shot as um, while I do have very good coffee shops in my area that have lots of uh, single origin and locally roasted stuff, it's difficult to get to those places right now with the whole COVID-19 thing going on and uh, some of them become really over the top political and uh, I'd rather just focus on the coffee. So I'm going to open this up and see what I get. Pretty wild design. I like it. Mala. Oh, Guatemala. So that's good. Uh, Costa Rican is probably one of my favorites. So this is a very, can be a very similar one. So it also comes with a postcard, which I will not read any of the back in case there's flavor profiles on this. So that's kind of cool. Oh, no, that has a flavor profile. I saw one of them. Uh, so I'm not going to read that. Or you can read it. I'll tell you if I get the right answer or not. All right, so I'm gonna go grind this up. Uh, I'm expecting it to be a light roast Guatemalan. Sounds like we know what the origin is and uh, we'll see what we think. Thought I should actually come back to, to know what it smells like before I even grind it. It smells pretty weird actually. can't identify what that smell is. It's a little bit of almost a banana smell. Chocolate was what I saw on the flavor profile. I didn't see if there was any other ones in there. I can, I get a sense of that. It's definitely a light roast. If you can see that in there properly. properly Interesting. Okay, and we're back. Uh, I have it in the French press here. And it already has a, a pretty nice creme, I would say. Give it a first floor, has the color pretty dark, so it's a strong brew. Still some of that same smell that I got from inside the bag but it's milder. I'm just gonna work on this for a minute. All right, after giving it a few minutes to cool and uh, kind of taking in all the different aromas, interesting. Not what I expected from a Guatemalan coffee. Uh, usually it's a little fruitier. It certainly has the Central American earthiness. Um, I would say there is a little bit of a, a chocolate, a chocolate bar flavor. I would almost say like a Charleston chew flavor. Um, also a nut flavor similar to maybe pecans. There's a certain dryness to this coffee. Not in a sense uh, like the Brazilian coffees that I don't care for that have some of the, the hay dryness. It's different. It's more of a dry nutty flavor, but I would say it's good. Um, overall, this is my first Atlas box. It was, I used a discount 
first time coupon code. So it was basically $4 for a bag of coffee plus four and some change for shipping. So this is an excellent cup for that price. I'd be very curious to try another origin to see you know what else these have to offer so now i'm going to take a look and see here first the postcard and it looks like it just gives the okay gives the history of guatemala and uh Write a note to a friend or Philly coffee lover and send this postcard with a discount code WELCOME50. Hey friend, there you go, WELCOME50. I don't know if that'll focus, whatever. To get 50% off for signing up. And then here's the card. It talks about the region, that it's a washed process, the altitude. So they're recommending a drip machine. Nope, French press for me. Uh, the level, it says medium roast. I would describe this as a medium, uh, a lighter side of the medium roast. Milk chocolate. I just saw chocolate, so yes, definitely milk, not dark chocolate. Nougat. So is that what's in Charleston shoe? Cause that's, now that I think about it, that is that smell that I smelled when I opened the bag. Dark cherry, I don't get that flavor profile in here, but you know, everybody's different. So, all right, Atlas Coffee Club. Nice to be on board with the club. Use your discount code whatever I said it was, welcome 50. Welcome 50 to get 50% 50 off your first box. And uh, maybe I'll do another one of these if uh, this was of interest. Cheers.